Hello, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road, and today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on how to install the 130 Proud Rhino Rear Ladder Adapter Bracket. So you got yourself your Proud Rhino Ladder and your 130, and you're noticing that the track doesn't come all the way to the end of the vehicle like it does on the 90 and the 110 for the upper mount like so we have set up, essentially extended the roof rail like so that way you can mount your your upper handle bracket so i'm going to show you how to get this on the roof easily quickly this is a i don't know half a beer kind of a job all right so first thing you need to do is find the upper location where this mounts to and we'll move up to the roof i'll show you okay up here on the roof and i'm going to be doing this with one hand so trying not to bust my balls too much there's the trim piece you're going to want to get under there with your trim plastic tool that's what i use and pop this free i've already done that and underneath there's going to be a bolt location there was a plastic little filler stud in there. I had to pop that out. I assume that's gonna be on all of the cars. Now, you're gonna to wanna to drill a three quarter inch diameter hole, four and a sixteenth from the end of the trim piece. And you're gonna to wanna to drill that hole also at three quarters of an inch on the diagonal here. If you're slightly over, it's not going to be a big deal. Water is gonna get under here anyways, just by design. As long as that bolt is in place, you won't get any water into the truck. So you're gonna to wanna to drill that out first and we can move to the next step. Next step, take the spacer, set that in your hole. You wanna confirm that the bolt will go through and tighten up easily. You don't want it to be angled or jammed. If need be, just increase the, the hole size so that this sits directly over the threaded portion of your roof. On to the next step. The hardest part is done. The hole's drilled into the plastic piece up there. Now you're going to take your extension bracket. Down here, we've got three holes, and on this side, we've got two holes. The two holes are gonna go to the track piece. The three holes, are going to be for the U bracket that grabs onto the channel onto this little upper handle bracket. And that hole is for the spacer drops in like so. First thing you want to do with this in hand is mount the U bracket to the extension piece. Hyper speed. With the U bracket in place, you should be looking just like this. Little hole offset here for the spacer, two main holes for the track piece. Let's put this on the roof. Same as on the D90 and the D110, the track piece sits in, comes down to the end. We're gonna use our extension piece. Gonna see that it right here on the spacer and on the track. Be very careful. Going to, oh boy, oh boy, don't break the glass. Try that again. All right, I'm gonna take my hex head six mil, I think it's by 55 long, get that in place. That way my piece won't come off as I try to one hand this. You're gonna take your Allen's Align those into the track piece, like, like so. And tighten everything down. Only one thing left to do, it's to put your upper handle piece on, take the big long bolt, send it through the back, the U bracket here, tighten it down. The nut should be right here, 
right here. But right here, and you'll be able to get a wrench in there and tighten down. They're both 19 millimeters. It's all done. It'll look like, whoop. Everything's loose. There we go. Once all done, look like so. I've got some other projects we're gonna do, so I'm not gonna tighten this down. And on that, I, it's barely even worth opening a beer to do. Be careful when you drill the upper section. You don't want to drill into the roof. I usually put a piece of metal down or some wood, so I hit that instead of the roof. All right, guys, I'm on to the next project. I'll see you on the next one.